Bull. I got a stomach full of paper slips. What number did you have? Oh, up to 54. That's all right. 54 don't win today anyway. Pay off for that, Bull. Okay, Mr. Terrence. Dad, I think you're sticking your neck out. What guarantee have you got that you're not next? I know what I'm doing. You'd be much smarter if you'd string along with Terrace instead of the DA. This town ain't big enough for me and Terrace, and I don't want you mixing up in my business. That ain't what I sent you to law school for. But, Dad, I was only trying... I don't want you to argue about it. Now, run on down to that office of yours and dictate some letters to the girl. All right, if you won't listen to me. And I'll see you later. Tonight. All right. Now, that's the size of it, Robbins. If you'll play ball with me, I can pin a rap on Frankie Terrace that will stick. What information do you want from me? I want the exact dope on how the numbers racket is operated. And a guarantee that you'll appear in court to testify after I indict Terrace. And if I do, you put him out of business? For keeps. And I'll play ball. That is the government's deluxe special for the prize suckers. Leavenworth and Points West. I don't understand. It's a prison car, honey, for little boys who are bad. They get a free ride. Mm, that's dreadful. Well, it's not exactly a streamliner, but I guess you don't get many complaints. <laughs> no. Louise, you're going to have a great time at Lake George. Well, I won't enjoy it unless you visit me. I want the girls to meet my brother. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, extra, extra. Terrace, call behind the police of racket. Excuse the district attorney. Hey, give me one of those papers, Hey, kid. Give me. Huh? They got your picture in the paper, boss. You're not a bad like this. Trophy of two. The district attorney today made a bold statement in which he asserted that Frankie Terrace is behind the policy racket. A powerful system has been built up here, Burrs, as which terraces ahead, with hundreds of underlings who operate the racket. Who's been talking? I don't know. But just for luck, you and I are making a call on Manny Robbins. Hello, Terrace. Just drop in to say hello. I've been reading your publicity. You uh, wouldn't happen to know where the DA's been getting his information, would you? Why, has anybody been talking? Let me give him the works, boss. Take it easy, Bull. Got anything to say? All I know is what I read in the newspapers. Okay. But don't make any mistakes, Manny. If you're trying to frame me, you may meet with an accident. I wouldn't want that to occur. I got nothing to do with it. Of course not. You're too smart to want to ruin your health. I gotta be going now. Come on, Bull. Pardon the intrusion. job in the line? I beg your pardon. Skip it. You should be here soon. Why don't you sit down over there and wait for me? Thank you, I will. What are you going to do about it, boss? No, it's not for the new DA, Bull. I can get out of this in just one way. Yeah? 
I'll chase up town and contact the boys. Tell them to put in their lines for a couple of days until I figure this thing out. You mean we don't make no collections? Not a dime. That's orders. Okay, boss, but it's got me all confused. No collections. Next time I catch you one of those broken down routines, you'll be out of here. Louise. What are you doing here? I got off the train as soon as I read the papers. Took a cab downtown. I see. A little privacy, please. Okay. Now, let me get this straight. I put you on the train for Lake George, and the next thing I know, I walk into the club and find you here. Now, what's the big idea? Don't pretend, Frankie. You were in trouble. I couldn't go away. There's nothing to worry about. Just a lot of newspaper noise. Frankie, you're not telling me the truth. Sure I am. It's just an investigation. There's a new DA, and he's making a grandstand play for publicity. He's got nothing on me. Please be honest. I suppose I should have known this all along, only I didn't. You've been operating a numbers racket. He's going to jail, doesn't it? You don't have to worry. I'm washing it up. Do you mean that? On the level. I can afford to now. And you and I are going to get in a boat and go to Europe and stay there till it all blows over. And in the meantime, I'm uh, passing the racket on to somebody who wants it awfully bad. I'll do anything you say, Frankie. That's a swell little sister. Now, we'll be out of here in 48 hours. First, I'm going to check you into the hotel, and I've got a few things to do myself. And after that, we're going to go out and have a swell dinner. Oh, thanks. And after dinner, we're going to drop into the swing club. I've got some business to discuss with a friend of mine down there. How's the old timer? Am I going to make you a bankroll? You here with that phony stock again? Now, just a second, Manny. Now, I'll admit that this stock is phony, and this stock is phony. But this stock... Sure. That's phony, too. How'd you guess? Take a walk. How's that, Manny? Get out. Well, before I go, let's take a couple of bucks for a cup of coffee, will you? Cram. Okay, Manny, I can take a hint. So long, kid. Murder. Can't score. You're doing all right. Hiya, honey. Get out. Great joint, isn't this? You want to wait inside? Hello, Frankie. I wasn't expecting you here again. This is my kid sister. I'm showing her the town. Louise, this is Manny Robbins. How do you do? Fine, thanks. Suppose we step into my office for a little refreshment. What do you say? Thank you. Well, um, all right. I wanted to have a little talk with you anyway, Manny. Oh, yeah? That's great. Hey, Terrence, you're just the guy I've been wanting to see. Have I got a proposition for you? Suppose you tell us a bull. Okay, anything you say, partner. Well, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my son. Joe, meet Mr. Terrence. How do you do, Mr. Terrence? Uh, my sister Louise. How do you do? How do you do? I didn't know you had a son, Manny. Sure, and he's just as smart as his old man, too. That's uh, quite a recommendation. Would you care to dance, Miss Terrace? Oh, I'm sorry. She's a little tired tonight. Not at all, Frankie. I'd love to. It'll give you and Dad a chance to talk things over. Well, yeah, we can talk while they're dancing. See you again sometime. Here, hold it till we get back, right? That's, um, quite a fresh kid you got there, Manny. I like him. Just a second, Bo. Is that a chocolate soda you're drinking? Yeah, why? I thought so. They haven't improved upon a chocolate soda in 20 years. Yeah? Never forget the first chocolate soda I ever tasted. I was five years old. What happened? Nothing. I was too young. But that's besides the point. Say, how many of these chocolate sodas do you get away with in a day? Oh, 15 or 20. 15 or 20, eh? Just an amateur. What do you mean, amateur? Now, just a minute, Bo. You're a fellow that's got plenty of intelligence. See it written all over your face. Now, listen. I got something here that's going to interest you. See those snacks? Manny over there wants to give me six bucks a share for all this stock I can get. Yeah? Yeah. Say. What would happen if I give you eight bucks a share? Eight bucks? Yeah. I'd stick your picture on it. 
A little too much shopping. <clears throat> Say, you dance beautifully, Louise. Thank you, Cancer. I've got an idea. There'll probably be quite a while in there. Why don't we go someplace where there's a real orchestra? Have you ever been to the Peacock Room? No, but I've heard of it. Would you like to go there? I'll tell my brother. Well. While you and Mr. Robbins are talking, Joe and I are going to the Peacock Room. What for? Why to dance, silly. Forget it. No, you don't. But I'll take good care of her. You haven't finished your talk with Mr. Robbins, have you? No, but... Well, then I see no reason why we can't go. All right. But phone me the minute you get back to your apartment, understand? I'll be home. Of course. Good night, Mr. Robbins. Good night. Mammy, you've been trying to chisel into my policy racket for a long time. I don't like chiselers. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm giving you the whole blooming racket. You could have it. Who are you trying to kid? On the level, I'm getting out. For good. There's a catch in this someplace. Mm -mm. It's a present from me to you. him. You're not a baby anymore. You can take care of yourself. Oh, please don't. Oh, come on. Be a good sport. No, stop it, Joe. I mean it. I'm sorry. And now, good night, Joe. You don't mean you want me to go home? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's no way to say goodnight to a fella. No, please. Now, let me handle this. You invite me in for a little while, and we'll sit down and talk things over. See? No, don't. Beat it. Okay. Come in, Louise. I don't like that kind of talk, Louise. Oh, forget about it, Frankie. You'd better get some sleep. I'll talk to you about it in the morning. Good night. Good night. To talk to you. What about? What's the idea of getting fresh with me? I didn't do anything, and what's more, I don't want to argue with you. I suppose I ought to slap you around, just to teach you a lesson. I'm not a bit scared of you, mister. Oh, a tough guy, huh?
You guys leave me alone. Get out of here. Get out. He didn't do nothing. And he killed him. Joe didn't do nothing. Joe was going to be a big lawyer someday. And now he's dead. I'm going to square this for you, Joe. Me. has gone off his nut about all of this. Look at him. We don't need a jury. We don't need a jury. I gotta fix him myself. He fixed my boy. He fixed my Joe. We don't need a jury. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Guilty of murder in the second degree. I've been looking forward to a trip to San Francisco. They tell me they're going to have a wonderful World's Fair out there. I'm afraid you won't make it, Red. No? There's about 10 years waiting for you in Frisco for peddling phony oil stock. Well, I'd sure be there if I had the cash. Well, if you're a little short, I could let you in on a guilt edge proposition. All you have to do is get in touch with Nick Roberts down on 4th Street. He's got some grade A snack that you can pick up mighty cheap. No kidding? Yeah. Of course, you'll have a little trouble passing this knot, as our engraver put a mustache on Lincoln. Hi, Hi Manny. Hi, Nick. Hi, Red. <laughs> Why Alcatraz? Why are they sticking me on the rock? What's the matter with Atlanta or Leavenworth? They're plenty tough. The judge simply figures you won't be able to do business from the rock. Oh, I get it. And I could have told him I was washing it up. Well, my friend Manny's in still with me. That's some consolation. He's getting out on bond. Getting... When? They're springing him tomorrow morning. Listen, Al. Get a hold of the boys. Tell them not to let my sister out of their sight for a minute, understand? All right, Frankie. I don't want anything to happen to her. Okay.
Hey, Nick. Red. Yes, Manny. I'll be out of here in an hour. Remember what I told you. Sure, Robin. We'll remember. I'm all right, dear. How are you? Well, let me look at you. Do you look fine? Frankie, I'm going to do everything I can for you. Maybe the appeal will... Not a chance, honey. It was denied this morning. Oh. Louise, I've been thinking. Remember that trip to Europe we were planning? Yes. Well, why don't you take it now? Oh, no, Frankie, I couldn't. Why, well, it'd be the best thing in the world for you. You need a rest. You wouldn't be just trying to get me out of town, would you? What would I want to get you out of town for? Well, I... I thought perhaps with Manny Robbins out of jail, you might be afraid something might happen to me. No, nothing like that could happen. And that wouldn't be why Bull and the rest of them are keeping such a close watch on me, would it? Why, no, they're just around in case you want anything, that's all. I see. Then you will take that trip? I will if you want me to, Frankie. Oh. oh. Now, look, don't start crying till I get out of here, will you, honey, please? I won't cry. That's a good kid. Bye, Frankie. So long, Louise. Some rubberneck in the day? Okay, kid. Shut up. Are you addressing me? Shut up. Now, just a second. Before we go any further, I want you to understand that I'm not an ordinary prisoner, but I'm a government prisoner, and I want to be treated as such. What are you doing? Getting hostile? Okay, if that's the way you're going to pull out. them anywhere. Looks like you're going to have a pretty soft trip to the coast. Thanks for your trouble, Stephen. Anytime, Mr. Wilson, anytime at all. Keep your eyes open, Adams. Robbins may actually try to fulfill his threat. The terrorists won't reach the rock alive. I don't see how anything can happen, Chief. These prison cars are no setup. Yes, I know, but this has been an important case for me. I'm putting you on that train because I don't want anything to go wrong. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Don't let her get you, Miss Louise. Hey, Bull! What do you want? Manny's going around talking big. He says, Frank, you'll never get to the rock. Shut up, you dummy. Hey, where you going, Miss Louise? Oh, boy! I've been looking for you. Yes, ma'am. This is very important. I must get a message into the prison car. Well, that's absolutely impossible, miss. Couldn't you possibly? Well, we have no connection with the prison car. None whatever. the great Frankie Terrace is going to the rock. Yes, sir, going to Alcatraz, just like ordinary folks. 
Ladies and gentlemen. Sit down, tramp. Quiet, lowlife. I now give you the great Frankie Terrace, better known in our intimate circles as Frankie the Rat Terrace. Oh. <laughs> gentlemen, my popularity is overwhelming. Thank you. If you don't keep quiet, I'll knock your brains out. You can't knock my brains out. Is that the way you feel about it? Sure. If I had brains, do you think I'd be riding in here with these baboons? Quiet! Quiet! Yeah, it's quiet, fellas, and we're not kidding. I'm with you, partner, 100%. You shut up! All right, all right. You'll be a guard all your life. Take it, please. Right through to the coast, sir. Right you are. Ticket, please. Oh, well, I'm afraid I'll have to buy one. You see, I just decided to get on at the last minute. How far are you going? Mm. Yeah, let's see. That will be uh, $107.66, including an upper berth. I'd prefer a lower. Sorry, I haven't a single one left until Kansas City. Oh, but I can't. Oh, the young lady can have mine, Conductor. Thank you, but I... Oh, I don't mind an upper, really. Here you are, Conductor, just switch them. Well, that means I'll have to give you a refund. You can take care of that later. <laughs> Thank you, you're very kind. That's perfectly all right. If I were you, Muggs, I'd take a peek at the scenery. You won't be seeing it for a long time. Dry right. up. You know, the last time I took a trip to the coast, I didn't see a bit of the scenery. Why not? I was riding inside of a boxcar. Hello, fellow. I say, neighbor, uh, may I... Shut have... up! Will you give me a... Shut up! I want a glass of water. You'll get bread and water to the coast if you don't stop annoying me. Yeah? What'll that be, white or rye? Move over, Slim. I'm going to take a flopper out. Lay off that pony snowy. Still the big shot, eh, Terrace? Big shot? There ain't no big shots where he's going. Yeah, those tough guys on the rock don't like big shots from what I hear. Yeah, Terrace, you're living on borrowed time, and somebody might foreclose on you. No kidding. That's right. I heard you're never even gonna reach the rock. A certain party is gonna see to that. I thought you knew. Everybody knows you ain't gonna get away with what you've done. It just ain't in the cards. You're gonna get yours, stool pigeon. Why, you... Hey! 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 Who started that? Uh, it's him that started it, the big shot. That's who started it. Big shot? He isn't even a cap pistol now. We don't want any more trouble with you, Terrace. You get yours, Terrace.
for a wife of fair expect, he was in my, I had him here care, for he was there, he can remember him, I claim a for a wife of fair expect, he was in my. Just plain Sam. Now don't ask me Sam who or Sam what. Just Sam. Well, you is new, ain't you? That's right. Signed yesterday. Working today. Yeah? Yeah, I use my political connection. I know how to push the right button. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, look what's coming. Mm, prisoners. Gentlemen, we is waiting on prisoners this trip. That's interesting. Get on that train and wait for orders. We're flying to Kansas City. You'll hear from me there. Lay low. Okay, boss. Sorry, miss, but you'll have to move along. Tell me the government is going to put a swimming pool in on the rock. Yeah? Yeah. Well, why shouldn't they? They're catering to a better class of people. Now take careful over there. Boom. Uh, you're a guy after my own heart. Mm -hmm. You've got plenty of nerve. That's what I like about you, Red. Come on, step along, boys. Hiya, neighbors. What are you down in the dumps for? You'd be down in the dumps, too, if you got 90 years. Ninety years, that ain't much. No? No. And I'll tell you why. Now, there's 365 days in a year. There's 52 Sundays you don't work. You take time off for shaving, five national holidays, eight hours sleep every night, and three months off for good behavior. Yeah, but all the time I'm still in prison. I never thought of that. I don't know why they give me 90 years. I'll never do it all. Well, do all you can.
coffee and toast? If you please. Madam, may I point out the advantages of our combination breakfast number two? Thank you, but all I want is coffee and toast. Ah, but consider, madam, for practically the same price, our combination breakfast number two, of which we are very proud, consists not only of coffee and toast, but a large glass of chilled orange juice, some strips of bacon, and last but not least, an ample serving of marmalade. Very well, then. Bring me number two by all means. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. This number two breakfast looks mighty fine. Splendid, sir. But on uh, second thought, I think I'll have the number five. You know, I'm not one to talk. In fact, I'd rather have my tongue cut out than spill anything a pal has given me in confidence. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Something's really gonna happen on this rattler before we get to Frisco. I tell my dopey friend, you're dreaming. No, sir. You know what? I'll tell you. Some friends of mine are gonna take care of Frankie Terrace. I say, old fellow, could I trouble you for the menu? Yeah, yeah what is the I tell you, Or you won't get nothing. Better go through and see if the food is ready. I'm hungry myself. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Have you taken breakfast in this prison car yet? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, that is not as I know. Do you think you could get a message in to one of the prisoners for me? I could try. In fact, I could make it a special delivery. Now, don't fail me. No, ma'am. I haven't seen one of these since the fall of 1929. <laughs> Ready for the prison car? The oatmeal for the criminals is in the rear. I need some help. I'll let you have some one. Thank you. Take George with you and go with this gentleman. Yes. Without you. Oh, don't mention it. It's my daily good deed. Won't you sit down? Thank you. My name's Bill Adams. I'm Louise Terrace. I'm very glad to meet you, Miss Terrace. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. Still taking the morning exercises, eh? <laughs> All right, boys.
Wait a second. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. They may have put something in it. No. Certainly. You're doing 90 years, aren't you? Yeah. Well, get hip to yourself. Maybe trying to bump you off or something. Wait a second. It's not rat poison. It's not aspirin. What is it? It's oatmeal. Here. Glutton, I'll eat my own. Hey, would you mind taking this away? I can't eat it. Oh, a softie, huh? Have some coffee, please. Does it get it, Captain? Okay, let him have it. Let him have it. If I'd have been you, I'd have eaten that oatmeal. Maybe there won't be any oatmeal where you're going. You really ought to meet my Aunt Agatha. She's a card. Oh, you mustn't forget to thank her for me. She came to the rescue just like the Marines always do. <laughs> Is everything all right? For a mail job a couple of years ago. Here's the layout. Right here, yeah. Junction City, the train pulls up for orders. I'll put you guys on there. You see, the highway parallels the track for about 75 miles. 75 miles. You're away from everybody after the train pulls out of Junction City. Understand? Yeah. Two more days to the rock, Frankie. That's all. 
Now, don't worry. You ain't never gonna get there anyway. You lay off me or else I'll knock you... You ain't doing nothing anymore. Your number's up. Say, so you two guys better cut that out of that guard down there. will come out here and pull your boat apart. Turn it down. Yeah. Say, when's the break coming off? Soon now. Keep your socks on. <laughs> now get this straight. At the junction, Doc and Mike hop the locomotive. We'll follow. About 50 miles down is a switchover. That's where we go to work. You're worried about something, aren't you? What makes you think that? Mm, just a hunch. It's about someone in the prison car, isn't that right? Oh, don't go yet, Miss Terrace. What are you after? Nothing at all. I happen to know that your brother's in that car. That's worrying you, isn't it? How do you know that? Oh, you don't have to be afraid of me, Miss Terrace. My job is to protect your brother. I don't understand. It's very simple. The government intends to get your brother to Alcatraz alive and to keep him there. You see, I'm to help if necessary. Oh, I see. You know what gets me is how a sweet girl like you happens to have Frankie Terrace for a brother. I don't care to talk about that. Oh, I know I've got no right to sound off this way, but I can't help saying it. You're much too good for him. He isn't worth it, Miss Terrace. You've got no right to say that about him. You don't know my brother at all. I'll do anything in the world for him. You'll stop about there. Doctor and Mike, drive that engine. We'll go ahead to the switch tower. Okay. Come on. Good night. Try and get some sleep, won't you? It'll make you feel better. Thank you. Well, good night. out there. What is it? It's a car. And he's keeping up with us. This is it, all right. Oh, boy, look at him go. Uh, it won't be long oh. now. Hold on, Andy. 
to save me. They're trying to get me. There's a car outside. Look. Look outside. Right outside there. See it? The car. There ain't nothing out there. You're seeing things. Sit down. Those prison guards want some coffee. For years, I have studied the culinary arts. I have worked and slaved to become a master. But now what happens? I ask you, the ignominy of it all, catering to a car full of criminals and their keepers. Just the keepers want the coffee. Well, let them have it. But you are going to make it. And while you're at it, why don't you bake them a cake? They didn't have the cake. Go on, get out. Everything seems to be all right, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Everything's okay. Well, good night. Good night, Mr. Adams. Good night. We're way ahead of them. We have plenty of time. Why don't you look where you're going? Sorry. What's this? Uh, I just thought you gentlemen might like to have some hot coffee. No, it'll keep me away. Oh, this is that good coffee. The kind me and the steward drink. Come on, Scotty, let's have some. Well, as long as he's brought it, okay. Give me a cup. I've got a hunch that that jabber will never keep those guards awake. Well, I'll just stick around and wait for the cups, you know. It sort of saves me a, a, a trip, huh? Sure, that's all right. I think those guards are going into the land of mafias. Do you get me? No. That's what I thought. Thanks. peculiar going on. That young lady you were with, Miss uh, Terrace, what about her? Well, she seems to have disappeared. Why didn't she in the dressing room? No, that's just it. The maid was fixing her hair and stepped out to get some curlers. And when she came back, Miss Terrace was gone. Well, have you looked in the other cars? Yes, but we can't find her. Now, I thought perhaps... Let me see her might... passenger list. Yes, yes, here it is. Get out your keys and come on. Yes. I have definitely made up my mind to accept that position at a help resort. Mm -hmm. 
Jim. Stand back. Keep him covered. until the boss gets in here. Then we take it on the lamb. sleep for? Well, I guess a little train sick. I'm not feeling so good myself. start popping real soon. Yeah. Thinking of it all along. You've got to start thinking about yourself now, Louise. Yes. Got to make up for for all the things that Frankie did. I'd like to help if you let me. I need help. You can count on me. <laughs> 